Is it time to buy or sell QQQ ETF? In this video, we're diving deep into QQQ. Our initial report was published on our website on Friday, June 2, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Boost your experience by joining our YouTube membership. Choose the supporter tier to show your appreciation with a loyalty badge or the trader tier to request video analysis of the company of your choice. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since April 26, 2023, our system has ranked QQQ as a strong buy candidate, giving it a score of 5.24. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. Those who followed our analysis would have enjoyed an impressive gain of 13.72% since we first listed QQQ as a buy candidate 27 days ago. This translates to an average return of 0.51% per day since it was listed as strong buy candidate. The ETF has broken the strong rising the short-term trend up and an even stronger rate of rising is indicated. For any reaction back there will now be support on the roof on the current trend broken at $352.08, a level that may pose a second chance to hit a runner. According to Fan Theory, $374.61 will be the next possible trend top level and thereby pose a resistance level that may not be broken at the first attempt. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 14.89% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 6.76% and 14.06%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 8.39% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 16.92% and 8.54%. This translates to a price range of $294.66 to $384.93 after a year. Our latest daily update for QQQ includes the headline, QQQ ETF upgraded from hold slash accumulate to strong by candidate after Friday trading session. The QQQ ETF price gained 0.750% on the last trading day, Friday, June 2, 2023, rising from $352.01 to $354.65. During the last trading day the ETF fluctuated 1.08% from a day low at $352.02 to a day high of $355.83. The price has risen in 6 of the last 10 days and is up by 5.15% over the past 2 weeks. Volume fell on the last day by minus 69,000 shares and in total, 49 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $17.44 billion. You should take into consideration that falling volume on higher prices causes divergence and may be an early warning about possible changes over the next couple of days. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of ETF was $355.83, and the lowest price was $254.26. Currently, the price is 0.33%, or $1.18, below the 52-week high, and 13.23%, or $54.06, below the all-time high on November 22, 2021, when the price reached $408.71. The following signals have been identified for QQQ. Mostly positive signals in the chart today. The QQQ ETF holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals where the short-term average is above the long-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $346.34 and $327.50. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Tuesday, April 25, 2023, and so far it has risen 14.41%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Volume fell during the last trading day despite gaining prices. This causes a divergence between volume and price and it may be an early warning. The ETF should be watched closely. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. 
moving average convergence divergence by signal pivots by signal 28 days ago bollinger by signal one day ago short-term moving average sell signal eight days ago long-term moving average sell signal 29 days ago the relation between the short and the long moving averages by signal 53 days ago if we look at the 12-month chart we see short moving average by signal 21 days ago the long-term moving average by signal 94 days ago the relation between the short and the long moving averages by signal 91 days ago remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals support risk and stop loss for qqq on the downside the etf finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at 306 dollars 81 and 290 dollars 69 there is a natural risk involved when an ETF is testing a support level, since if this is broken, the ETF then may fall to the next support level. In this case, QQQ finds support just below today's level at $306.81. If this is broken, then the next support from accumulated volume will be at $290.69 and $288.55. This ETF has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the ETF moved $3.81 between high and low, or 1.08%. For the last week, the ETF has had daily average volatility of 1.65%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for QQQ, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per share earnings. A relatively low P-E ratio could signal a low expectation for the future of the company or that the stock is undervalued, indicating a potential buying opportunity. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for QQQ. There's no significant resistance from accumulated volume above, which means the stock could move upward swiftly under the right conditions. In this case, you might want to enter a position and use volume to determine when to exit. On the downside, QQQ encounters its first support level at $306.81. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. Our recommended stop loss is set at $344.44, minus 2.88%. This ETF has medium daily movements and this gives medium risk. The RSI 14 is 81 and this increases the risk substantially. There is a buy signal from a pivot bottom found 27 days ago. Is QQQ ETF a good buy? QQQ holds several positive signals and has broken the strong rising trend up. As the ETF is also in great technical shape we, therefore, consider it to be a good choice at these current levels and we are expecting further gains during the next three months. We have upgraded our analysis conclusion for this ETF since the last evaluation from a hold slash accumulate to a strong buy candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Monday, June 5th, we expect QQQ to open down dash $0.483 and start trading at $354.17. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the ETF? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.